guys today let's talk about benefits a student can get in canada first things first of course when you land at the airport the first thing you're supposed to get is your social insurance number how based we all know that you might not be able to get anything in canada after you've gotten your social insurance number of course you keep it safe and when you arrive just talk to like you can go to like newcomer centers there are lots of them around but i actually i've discovered that many of us don't actually like make use of them because those places will tell you everything you need to know so if you're a student married single with kids or anything there are different benefits you can get in canada it might not be as much as those of like a permanent resident or citizens but it's still something at least know the kind of benefits you can get there are some that are like little little but there are some that are like also like huge which some people know about and who do not know about so as a student, anytime you come into the country, it's inconsequential. But please add a nose to the ground whenever they are like filing taxes. This is actually like, like tax season. It starts from February. As someone that resides in Canada, it is very, very important for you to file your taxes. You can go to the CRA website to find out more information. I don't know everything, so I'll just tell you the way it is. Find out more on the CRA website. There are forms that a permanent resident will fill. There are forms a student will also fill. If you file your taxes, you are eligible for some tax returns. Number one, you can have like your HST back, all those tax that we pay whenever we go to the groceries and everything. It's something even if it's even if it is two hundred dollars that is coming back to you or something, it is still something. Like when I get all those benefits, ah, you guys don't know how much I am happy. That aside, so you're eligible for some like returns and everything when you file your taxes. For people that are coming with children, children below the age of four. If you file your taxes, even as a student, you can be eligible to have your daycare subsidized fully that you're not paying anything once you see that okay i am a student i school for this amount of hours and everything you can be eligible for daycare subsidy hopefully you get daycare that is available for you for your child that's on one part and that's a lot to be honest because daycare money is not small money so if you are someone and you're someone that your daycare fees are well are taken care of that is like answered prayers for me i am enjoying that benefit and guys i don't even want it to end i'm like god just just help me another thing that you can be eligible for of course i think after 18 months that you've resided in canada you filed your taxes you stayed they will start paying you benefits for your children all this is not one plus one equals to equals to two it depends on whether you fulfilled all the obligations so please find out more on that if you're earning a lot of money of course you won't be eligible for the child benefit so it depends on your income bracket it depends on when you landed in the country how much you file for your taxes a lot of factors so i can't just tell you that oh they'll start paying you by this time they'll start paying you that by that kind of thing but it's just important to know that you can get this benefit on the flip side some little or other benefits you can get as a student is groceries i wish i could enjoy that if you go to the grocery store right now depending on the store all stores have their different times i know food basics i shared those before and just even someone that pointed it out to me that on tuesdays students have like 35% free on anything they buy. Like guys, it is something. You might think it is like 50 bucks or 100 bucks. It is something, it goes somewhere. Once you're with your student ID, you can prove that you're a student. You will have like a lot of rebates. So different stores have all those different things. At least I can testify for food basics. Another store that I know of is Bulk Ban. On Wednesdays, you get about 15% off. I know for food basics, on Tuesdays, you get about 35% off. So just find out about more of that in your area, in your region, wherever you are. It depends on wherever you are. So it's not one size fits all. It can be different from like even from city to city. So just put your nose to the ground to find out other benefits you can get. There are a lot of rebates that happen for students and for older people like for instance if my mom comes down to canada there are times that i take her to some particular stores because i'll be like mommy on tuesdays they are giving 30 percent off for like seniors seniors from like 60 years and above please also if you have your parents in the country make use of all those discounts because to be honest anytime my mom comes 
that is one of the things that I'm always looking forward to because anytime I go to those stores, I get at least some percentage like taken out. So these are the things that I believe that can help you a little here, a little there. If I know of any other one, I'll definitely bring it to the table. There are a lot of benefits that one can get. It just depends on how much you know. It depends on how much people are sharing for you. I also recently heard about an app that most people can use. It's not even just peculiar for students alone. I heard that just today. So if you're somewhere and you're going, you're taking Uber and everything, and it's quite expensive. I've heard that this app, what it takes you about $80 to go somewhere, it can take you about $15. That's a lot, guys. When I confirm the name, I'll leave it in the caption. So please just always watch out for my updates. Any other thing that I know about, any other thing I feel that you can benefit from, I'll definitely share it on this platform. So please keep on watching out for that. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.